Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about dynamic memory allocation in C++. So, up until now, every variable we've created has had a format something like this. Okay, we have a data type, an identifier, and sometimes a memory to which it is initialized. And this is known as an automatic variable. And an automatic variable is basically a local variable, a variable declared within a function. Now, with local variables or automatic variables, when you declare the variable, like now, the memory is automatically allocated for that variable. That variable is automatically given enough memory uh, for its data type. So in case of an int, it's given four bytes of memory to work with. And then as soon as the function in which the function in which the variable is declared goes out of scope or ends, that memory is automatically deallocated or put back. So that's good. It means we don't have to dig through and you know manually allocate and deallocate the memory. But it's also bad because um, it means that memory that you th because variables that you create inside a function aren't accessible anywhere else because they've been deleted as soon as the function ends. So um, there is a way that you can automatically, that you can manually take charge of this uh, allocation and deallocation process and it's called dynamic memory allocation. With dynamic memory allocation what you do is um, you allocate memory for your variable not on the stack, but on the heap or free store. And memory uh, allocated on the heap or free store is not freed until the program ends, so it sticks around. So to the way to use a dynamically allocated uh, variable is first you create a pointer, and then you name it just like any other pointer. And the reason why you need a pointer is because when you dynamically allocate memory on the heap, you have no idea where that memory actually is. It just returns an address, and you store that address inside a pointer. And that pointer is the only way to get to the memory that you've reserved, because otherwise you can't reach it. So then, you put equals, and now you put new, and then whatever data type uh, the pointer is. So in this case, int. So we've created, allocated enough memory for an integer, and then we've sent the memory address of that memory we've allocated to our pointer p number. And then now we can use p number just like any other uh, pointer. So we've deallocated, um, de uh, reference it, and then we can set it to stuff. So 10. We can print it out. Okay, so let's run the program right now and look at the output. and the output is 10, just as we expect. But there is something missing from this program, a very important thing that we did not do, and that is uh, deallocate that memory back to the heap. And to do that, we put delete, so use the delete operator, and then we put the name of the variable, and that puts back the memory, or deallocates it. And so you might be wondering, okay, why do we need this? Our program back then ran, you know, without a problem, without an error. And, okay, the reasoning is, okay, say we have a function, and in that function, we dynamically allocate a variable, say an integer. We we allocate the memory for that integer. But then, okay, the function ends, okay? But that memory is still allocated to that integer. So the memory is allocated to the integer, but there's no way for us to access the memory that is allocated to that integer because uh, the function is ended, but nothing else can use that memory because it's already used by something else. We just can't access it. And so, if you had en enough cases of this, um, you could be drawing away from the memory used that is usable by the rest of your program, and it's called a memory leak. The memory basically just leaks out of your computer. There's less memory to work with for the rest of your program and that's because you didn't put the memory back. And the only way to get that memory back is when the program ends and everything declared on the heap is uh, deallocated. So, um, 
that's why we use this delete operator and it adds to put back the memory and also you should know that calling delete doesn't actually delete the pointer it deletes the memory pointed to by the pointer the memory you allocated to the pointer so we can still use that pointer so we can go down here and we say p number equals we can give it more memory to work with and then we can do stuff with it say set it again and then print it out again okay and then delete it again And then let's print it out. Okay, and here we have 10 and then 2. So, yeah, that has worked. But now this delete operator, while it's very important and very useful, it also brings up some problems. And it's called a stray pointer, or a wild or dangling pointer. And so let's see an example of that right here. Um, we have a program here, and uh, here we have a short integer that we've allocated some memory for, and for short, that's two bytes of memory. We've set it to 10, and then now we've printed it out onto the screen. And then we've deleted that memory, okay? And then now down here, we've created a long variable called plong, and then we've allocated that some memory, and we've set plong to 90,000, printed out, but now down here, we go back to pin, and then we set it to 20. But we've already deleted that, and then we print it out again. So let's look at the output from this program, and we can see what's wrong. Okay, so here, pin is 10, you know, as we expect. plong is 90,000. pint is 20. Okay, so that's worked. But now plong is now 65,556 and originally it was 90,000. So what has happened here? Well, what has happened here is we've created a stray pointer. So we've deleted the memory allocated to pint, but that pint is still existing. It still exists, and it still points to that memory. But now down here, we've created a long, and long takes up four bytes of memory. And then, um, the memory that was originally allocated to our p int has now been allocated to p long. But now down here we use p int again, and p int still points to uh, the original memory, which is now part of p long. And then um, a short is two bytes of memory, so we've set it to 20, and we've overwritten, overwritten two bytes of p long, so now it has a completely different value. So this is called a stray pointer. Um, it's when you delete a pointer, but um, you try to use it again. And it's one of the hardest bugs to find within a C++ program. And the way to avoid it is, once you delete something, you then s once you delete the memory, you then set the pointer to null or zero, which now means the pointer doesn't point to anything, which means when you run this program, it will crash. If when we had it before, um, it might not necessarily crash. It might actually overwrite um, a part, like a system file. It might not have written plong. Uh, a system file might have been uh, allocated that memory. And then we would have overwritten part of it, and then we could have crashed the whole computer. So that's why we set it to null, to avoid possible problems. It means the pointer doesn't point to anything, which means this part won't work. So that's basically it for dynamic memory allocation, and uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.